Canadian colleges and institutes have a long history working overseas. Over 45 years, in fact, Colleges and Institutes Canada currently coordinates more than 75 partnerships. They help transform post-secondary education systems all over the world. More and more, internationalization is a key part of the core mission of Canada's colleges and institutes. One of the most effective ways for Canadian colleges and institutes to get involved on the international stage is by participating in one of the many Education for Employment programs. Let's hear testimonials. We hope this will motivate you to become involved. In Tanzania, Global Affairs Canada has provided $13 million to support the Improving Skills Training for Employment program, known as ISTEP. 14 Canadian colleges, institutes, and CEGEPs are partnered with technical and vocational training institutes across Tanzania. These partnerships are developing new training programs in collaboration with industry and employers in the tourism and extractive sectors. Let's hear from some of the Canadian colleges, institutes, and CEGEPs about the benefits of getting involved. The vision of the Marine Institute is to be uh, the world's oceans institute and obviously to play in that area, in that space, we need to engage with other world leaders in other organizations internationally uh, so that we can gain insight from their innovations and their ideas and things that they're doing to make them leaders in their own environment. And by engaging with organizations around the world, like DIT, it helps make us a better institution. So even though the project uh, the programs are built around providing assistance to our Tanzanian partners in this case. Uh, the Marine Institute gains a huge amount uh, technically as well as institutionally from involvement of the project. Two years ago we were selected by Arusha Technical College to help build their capacity to meet the needs of the oil and gas sector. What this means is that we're helping to train trainers and co-design curriculum in Pipeworks Oil and Gas Engineering very exciting in that the professors that we sent there had never had any international experience. So it was a win-win. They learned far more uh, in participating in the project in Tanzania than the Tanzania educators did, I'm sure. And then as part of the project, Tanzania educators and administrators came to Sioux College and were able to expose them to the kinds of equipment, technology, and pedagogy that we have here. So. Both parties uh, learned a great deal in the Tanzania project. When you think about um, empowering people, when you think about the learning that happens, when you think about um, just the excitement that was generated, uh, for me that alone was one of the huge reasons uh, in doing international projects. And at the end of the day, yes, we are sharing information, we're sharing resources, but I really think that we learn as much as our Tanzanian partners. My very first deployment as a faculty member was in 1994 in China and it was a life-changing event for me and this is the idea that we want to bring over to our faculty as well because when they come back from projects like this their lives are changed just like our students. The principal is not a question of challenge, it's a question of going to look for something different, also going to look for new challenges for the employees who participate. Euh, dans, même dans certains cas, c'est une question de, de rétention et de, avec la pénurie de main d'œuvre qu'on vit euh, pour certains, certaines personnes de, de venir travailler au Cégep Timolou, principalement en géomatique, et, euh, en sachant qu'on qu risque de faire des projets internationaux. C'est un élément qui, qui aide à la rétention. Canadian students participating in EFE programs learn new skills from Tanzanian students, new language skills, creative dance moves, connect with communities, create lasting friendships. These EFE projects are often a first step into uh, international research partnerships, project work, um, sometimes they lead to a field school potential. Uh, so it's uh, a real great opportunity for them. Uh, they bring that learning back to the classroom, um, but they also build their skills such that you know, we've had uh, faculty members in, in one area uh, you know, build their capacity, for example, in CBET delivery models. Uh, have gone on to do their PhD and now are supporting other projects uh, with the CBET component. I think one of the biggest benefits um, for 
on the NSCC side for our employees and our students um, is the cultural growing, but I also think we have to look at employability skills, um, especially for our students when they return home, they have an edge um, when they go into the job market from having these experiences, especially because they're hands-on um, technical projects we have them do. Et je sais que mon cégep appuie toujours également ce genre d'initiative-là, parce que n'oublions pas que pour un cégep, les répercussions ne sont pas seulement pour le personnel, mais également beaucoup pour les étudiantes, pour les étudiants. ISTEP partnerships engaged Canadian colleges, institutes, and cégeps of different sizes and expertise. They collaborated, expanded their networks, experience that they can use to forge new relationships in future international programs. Able to partner with another Canadian college on our ISTEP partnership, both um, in ISTEP 01, having Camosun as our junior partner, and then in ISTEP 07, being the junior partner for CNC. We've built some pretty strong relationships very excited every time we get involved in international projects. We see the value for our staff as well as the responsibility for Parkland College to give back, um, share our knowledge and our expertise. We are a small college, so we don't, uh, we can't do everything. So I think it's really important for a small college to decide what your niche is. It is the professors that make things happen. What they all say is it enriched their professional development and it, they all say, and I quote sort of, they became even better teachers at home because they, they had a more global view on things. So I think our, at the end of the day our students even here at home in Toronto benefit from their professors sometimes doing something a little bit out of the box. So the benefits of participating in education for employment programs are clear, but what does it take to succeed? Let's hear more from our Canadian partners. I think in terms of resources that we were able to tap into at our institutions, they were multifaceted. Uh, so not just curriculum experts and teachers, but also um, some of the ICT experts, some of the library uh, staff who were able to advise us on things, components that we should include that would support the learning of the students. And I think those sometimes are not, you know, top of mind is the first thing you think of, but those became really important elements of the project. Having a curriculum developer that kind of has expertise in international training, understands other con uh, the context and that you can't just take something directly from Canada and apply it in Tanzania and expect it to work the same way. The approach that I take with our projects is that we form a core team and that core team stays throughout the project. Um, and so we in have, your team? yeah, in our team, yeah. So that's a key piece for us is ensuring that that we have that capacity and people with interest and skills that are relevant to the partner, um, who are willing to commit for three or four years. Oh. At the beginning of pursuing any type of project, you know, have to put all the cards on the table and see this is the kind of uh, commitment that's required. Is this something you're interested in? If it's not, that's okay. It's not for everyone, um, but for those uh, faculty and staff who do get engaged, it's extremely valuable. On behalf of Colleges and Institutes Canada, I want to thank our members for the huge contributions they've made to the success of the Improving Skills Training for Employment program in Tanzania. Our members have been very pleased with the increased capacity they've developed to, uh, to deliver uh, skills training programs for young women and men of Tanzania. Um, in terms of our members, I'm very happy to consistently hear that uh, uh, participation in those programs are life-changing experiences. Uh, I think taking a, an institutional partnership approach ensures that those life-changing experiences last beyond the formal life of a program, uh, preparing our staff, our teachers, our students to become global citizens and to work across borders and across uh, cultures. Uh, CICAN looks forward to creating more opportunities uh, for members to share their expertise around the world and we look forward to seeing more members participating in those programs.